Hi, I'm Phil Constantino, and this Travels with Phil. We're going to interesting places in Franklin County, Pennsylvania, to Fort Loudon, the Enoch Brown School Massacre, and President Buchanan's birthplace. Here's where Franklin County is located in the southern and central parts of Pennsylvania. And we're first going to Fort Loudon, so let's go over to the videotape I shot there. Travels with Phil continues from Fort Loudon in Pennsylvania. This is a little bit uh, east of uh, Chambersburg. And this uh, sign here says the Cherokee Council at Fort Loudon. There's lots of Fort Loudons. There was also one down in uh, North Carolina. But it says here basically from June 14th uh, through 16th, 1758, 200 warriors from the Cherokee and Catawba nations gathered here to uh, meet with Colonel Henry Bouquet, second in command of a British and colonial army led by General John Forbes. He was trying to talk them into uh, go march against uh, Fort Duquesne's which is where Pittsburgh is now and he says uh, 99 Cherokees decided to follow them and uh, it says here um, after two days of intrigue dinners and public councils the Cherokees who were determined to leave have changed their minds and besides the 27 Catawbas we have 99 Cherokees resolved to follow us where you may want to lead us I should like to be able to send you their replies to the speeches that I have made to them I assure you Sir, that I was astonished to find so much spirit, imagination, strength, and dignity in the savages. It also says here that most of the Cherokees had uh, changed their minds by August. Uh, and there's Chief Standing Turkey. And then this would be the fort here. Now, there's a ridge right there behind you. It's a pretty substantial ridge uh, for the surrounding territory. A couple markers out here. An older building right where the sun's coming up. And it is literally just a little bit after 6 o'clock here in the morning. It's a pretty area. Nice rolling hills out here. Or generally rolling hills. And then the northeasterly pointing uh, Allegheny Ridges just off to the distance here. But this is Fort Loudon. Oh, about 40 miles, maybe a little bit more, west of Gettysburg. And this was all set up after the uh, Pontiac Wars or in that uh, period of time there. Uh, there's more than one Fort Loudon. We had a video on another one in uh, Tennessee. Uh, evidently, there were a lot of them uh, named after this particular guy that came through the area. And uh, this is a small spot. I mean, uh, physically, it's not so small, but uh, you don't see a lot of signs for it. You won't find it listed in a lot of uh, magazines or books or places like that, but it's still an interesting spot. I'll be honest, I'm Cherokee, and I know a lot about Cherokee history. I was unaware of this council. At least I don't remember it happening. This is one of the old houses that's out there, and then you can see the wide open spaces. And then... Uh, Basically, the British had wanted to build a fort here, but the Americans decided, or the locals, they were still Amer uh, British at that point, uh, decided that they would just do what was necessary and most expeditious, so they built the more stockade kind of uh, apparatus here rather than something uh, fancy, but still a very interesting spot out here. And uh, there was also the folks called the uh, Black Boys. Uh, they were local settlers who went out and uh, started uh, fighting the local Indians, even though peace had been determined because they just were so upset by the previous problems during the Pontiac uh, Wars. And the old Patton House here. And the next place we're going is the Enoch Brown School Massacre. This is where four Delaware Lenape Indians came into a small school in this area and uh, killed the school teacher and uh, scalped and killed nine of the students. Uh, one of them got away, and four, I believe, were taken uh, captive. And the uh, Indians were younger men. Uh, they were very upset with uh, depredations that had been going on between the settlers and the Indians out here. When they went back to the uh, tribe and showed what they had done, the older ones were very upset with them. And uh, there had been a peace that had been settled in the area, or officially peace had been settled, but all kinds of problems that continued going on. Here's a poem. The ground is holy where they fell and where their mingled ashes lie. Ye Christian people marked it well with granite columns strong and high. And cherish well forevermore the storied wealth of early years, the sacred legacies of yore, the toil and trials of pioneers. So this is, a, some people have even said it's the first school shooting. All right, looking around, though, it's a, it's a solemn sight. Our other our next spot is President James Buchanan's birthplace. 
Now, uh, he was the 15th president just before Lincoln, only served one term in the, the high office there. Now, this is his house. His house had been here. It was moved to uh, Chambersburg, then uh, Merkelsburg. And he actually has a monument. This is it in Washington, D.C. But we're going to look at his birthplace here. And it's just out of uh, Cove Gap uh, in one of the passes in the mountains here. And it's a place called Stony Better. Let's go to the video. Travels with Phil continues from Stony Batter near Mercerburg, Pennsylvania. This is the birthplace of James Buchanan, the 15th President of the United States. They built a pyramid up here to mark the spot. This is definitely a pass through the mountains, uh, west of uh, about 50 plus miles west of uh, Gettysburg, heading over toward Pittsburgh. This is the uh, monument, and this is definitely a gap in the mountains. A little, a very little rural community out here. It's real hard to read, but it says this mon monument marks the uh, birthplace of the 15th president of the United States, James Buchanan. Born April 1791, died June 1868. Don't see many pyramids. Nice little uh, creek or a run coming through here. Pretty area, but the birthplace of James Buchanan, the 15th. And you will be able to uh, see some signs uh, in the small towns around here, but if you don't know what's out here and you're not just happening to travel through some of these small towns, uh, you would never know that it was there. Most people don't know about James Buchanan. I like to sign, welcome to Pennsylvania, now get out, but it means to get outdoors. <laughs> That's an interesting way to get your attention. And this shows you some of the areas. Now, this is uh, Franklin County is a fairly small area, and there's a couple of other spots out there uh, that are of some interest uh, where some activity went on. Uh, but uh, you don't see, uh, I don't recall seeing any other pyramids uh, for presidential birthplaces. You don't see many uh, things associated with uh, presidents that have pyramids on them. All right, I'm going to wrap this up, and we're going to go just, around the corner here to Buck's Run, which runs through the property and lets you listen to it in its natural state with no narration or background music. Thank you for watching this video. If you liked it, please give it a thumbs up by clicking on the button below. You're welcome to leave comments below as long as the language is family friendly. And finally, if you like to see more of my videos, please subscribe to my channel by clicking the button over on the bottom right hand corner. Thank you again for watching.